Well, see you later. So far today, just to get to where we're at, has cost um, 750 bucks. Wow. Yeah. I shouldn't complain about my $40 gas fill with, no. my, with my car. So we're in a we're in a rest stop, right? Yes. But Which what? we got lucky. Most of the time, if you shut down after four in the afternoon, you can't find a parking spot. Mm -hmm. But we got north of Cleveland. And we're headed to Erie, Pennsylvania, right there at the border. And we just happened to find a, a rest stop that still had a parking spot. Okay. That had, so we have a bathroom <laughs> and everything, which is nice. And we'll just sleep right here. They're used are moderately safe. They're lit and everything. So yeah. Nice and, we, and we have food. Oh, yeah. So we don't worry a, about we that. We have a refrigerator, microwave, coffee maker. Yeah, we're good. I, yeah. It's like kind of camping. Yeah. Would you rather stay at a truck stop or at a rest stop if you had your choice? Uh, if I have coffee or I'm going to make coffee, I'm fine. The only reason I need a truck stop is if I wake up and I'm hungry and I want to have a breakfast sandwich or I want to get a thermos full of coffee. Okay. But I've already got everything or I can make it in here. So, so you basically have all your necessities with you on the road. Yeah. So how do you take care of your mental health on the road? I don't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> I just do my thing. I listen to my books on tape. I listen to music. I yeah. talk to my mom. I talk to my wife. And I drive. Yeah. I like it. You like it? Works it works for me. Then I go home and spend two wonderful days with my wife. And she works me half to death. And then I look forward to going back to work. <laughs> it's awesome. How do you take care of your physical health? I know, just like me sitting here, just this one day, not doing it five days a week, every single week, every single day of the year, but my hips hurt, my knees hurt, my back hurts, my neck hurts from all of the jumbling of the well, rough see, roads. Well, we huts. drove just under 11 hours today. Okay. And we drove 663 miles. And that's kind of an average day. Sometimes you can get up into 700, 740, but that's that's no stopping. I yeah. mean, you're sitting Ooh. in the seat for up to eight hours at a time. So how do you take care of your physical health? You, you, Obviously, you don't. Um, when you get out, you walk. You try to walk, get your right. legs, circulation going back in your legs. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when you sleep, I try to, on my half hour break, every eight hours you got to take a half hour break. You only drive 11 hours, but you can be on duty for 14. So I usually try to take a half hour nap on my, my break mm -hmm. if I don't have you to talk to. <laughs> um, but, and that's, it kind of revives you and you go, I don't know. I couldn't have done this years ago, but now I've kind of trained myself. But 11 hours straight, five days a week is really wears on you. I bet your, it does. Your, your hips bother, your tailbone bothers you, and this seat is about worn out. But uh, I don't know. It's kind of like being a cowboy, and it's the only enjoyable part of the whole thing. Where's your cowboy hat? It's up there. <laughs> Yeah, I got seven hats. What did you say? Seven hats? Seven hats, yeah. yeah. I brought one. Yeah. But <laughs> it works for me. All right. Well, we're signing off. This is our first day, day one, right? Day one? Yeah. We haven't killed each other yet. We had some fun today, actually. I thought we had a lot of fun. Dumb and dumber videos. Just wait. <laughs>
If we're there yet.
never this clean. Sitting all day is really hard on your body. As a truck driver, you're going through potholes and construction, and you're in this truck that has, I don't know, but no cushion at all. It has some air in the seats that you can adjust up and down, so that's kind of nice, but it doesn't fix it. I think I have severe whiplash just from doing this for three days. I can't imagine a lifetime or a few years of doing, well, a week of doing it. It's awful. So when you see truck drivers, try to have a little bit more consideration. They're away from home. They don't have um, luxuries. They don't have toilets near them all the time. <laughs> they have to eat at a truck stops. They sleep at rest areas. Um, the CB can be crazy at times. People are just, you get the really, really nice people and then you get the people who are like, really bashing other drivers and if you have any kind of mental health issue at all and you take the road and you hear all that stuff i'm sure it can be really hard on you um mentally and physically i think it's gonna it would be very difficult so i guess as i'm la rounding the last part of this trip i would just like to say that just think um, a little bit differently about truck drivers We're in Galesburg, Illinois, getting ready to take a shower. Pretty pumped about that. Here, and a dentist? Yeah. Uh... 
35 foot deep and 60, 70 foot wide. Yeah. Did they ever have to replace those plates? Yep. How often? I don't know how often, but I know it's expensive. Yeah. And they don't have any way of disposing of the blades. So then what happens to them? They cut them up and bury them. Oh. So yeah, for environmentally friendly, they're not. Doesn't sound like it. Are we there yet? Can you at least hear me my stuff?